Hi, this is Mike Levine of Audio Fanzine. I'm here at NAMM 2016 with Tom Graham of Avid, and he's going to tell us about the new Pro Tools 12.5 with uh, the collaboration features uh, included. So tell us. Yeah, so hi, Mike. Um, basically, in the industry today, people are collaborating now, and they're using Pro Tools, obviously, and they're sharing tracks through email, Dropbox. Right. Uh, they're doing import session data, and that works today, but it gets complicated if you're dealing with multiple versions or multiple collaborators, and it can, it can really result in a whole bunch of chaos. Um, so what we've done is created uh, projects, which are versions of Pro Tools sessions that can live in the cloud, and we've built an artist chat window where you can invite collaborators directly from within Pro Tools, and and even find them on our Avid Artist community, uh, where you can find great musicians and talent like yourself, if you're looking for a guitar player or, or maybe a djembe player. Um, invite them to collaborate, and then sh literally on a track-by-track -track basis, choose to share what you want to share with them, and um, go back and forth with updates very easily. And it's all done over the internet, so whatever the speed of your internet connection is, and um, it's built directly into Pro Tools. And you can share things like marker changes, plugin changes, um, all, all those sorts of things. And go so, so uh, give me a, a hypothetical of a, of how a session like this would work. It's not a real time collaboration, right? In terms of you're not playing together, but you are sharing stuff. So tell me how that would work. Sure, so let's say you and I are working on a part. Uh, I have maybe 12 drum tracks and, and uh, they're routed to an aux fader and I have a, a bass, uh, a couple bass parts and a couple keyboard parts. I could f freeze or commit those three auxes to send you stereo drums, stereo bass, stereo guitars. And then you could add, um, or I said keyboards, you could add guitar uh, on an individual track. And maybe you had an amp modeling plugin like our 11, and perhaps I didn't have that plugin. You could freeze the, that version and send me that. Now, if I wanted to change it, I could rent or buy the, that plugin from the Avid Marketplace and uh, make changes. I could even make changes and send them back to you. Now, if, if I only maybe edited the plugin and moved a couple files around and I didn't create any new files, that would happen really quickly on your end. You'd get those changes almost instantly. And is there uh, a, like a communication channel in this or do you use something else like Skype for that? So there is a uh, text chat right now and uh, you could use Skype for video. Um, we're looking at integrating video down the road. Cool. And when will this be available? Uh, should be available uh, very soon. Um, it's in release now for beta testers and early access people. But yes, for wide release, expect uh, shortly. So if one person is uh, uh, a Pro Tools user and the other person isn't, uh, is this how uh, the Pro Tools First version gets involved? So um, at some point, yes, Pro Tools First will be able to collaborate with, with regular Pro Tools users. In the initial release, it'll only be Pro Tools Standard version and HD. Uh -huh. Okay, so both people will be using Pro Tools and communicating. That's right. Yeah, so uh, if, if you have uh, Pro Tools first, that'll be coming down the road. Great. Well, uh, looking forward to try, trying it out. So thanks a lot, Tom. Thank you very much.